Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Electra Soul. In this video, we're going to be talking about why affirmations are so important. If you want the life of your dreams, if you want to live the life that you want, to be free to do anything that you desire, trust me when I say that affirmations are extremely important. This is going all based off the teachings of Sammy Ingram. If y'all do not know who that is, y'all should go check her out. She has changed the lives of so many people, including my own, and I know she could change yours too. But before I begin Begin to tell y'all about the importance of affirmations let me just say that i do have a spiritual store called electrosoul.co in which i sell spiritual jewelry y'all know i'm a big fan of my angel number hoop earrings i got 999 right here meaning the end of a very important life cycle i also sell other angel number hoop earrings i sell angel number hair clips angel number clothing and angel number purses i sell crystals sages and incenses as you can see what's being lit right now comes from one of the best spiritual stores that i know ran by my girl it says air of fiji i'm gonna leave the link down below so that y'all can cop because this shit is fire i also offer spiritual readings and spiritual coaching so if you're looking to enhance your spiritual abilities you could go ahead and send me an email so that we can get started you can follow me on instagram you can follow me on tiktok you could subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on twitter if you'd like now let's start talking about affirmations because this is where all the life-changing tea is. So what are affirmations? According to Google, affirmation means the action or process of affirming something or being affirmed. So basically, this is when you tell yourself that you're a boss-ass bitch so that you can become a boss-ass bitch in reality. The way that everybody manifests their reality is through affirmations, as I say in a lot of videos because this is extremely true. Affirmations change the lives of many people simply because whatever you think about is what will become of your reality if you keep telling yourself that you're a broke ass bitch you make no money you can never catch a break trust me when i say that that is what your reality will become you do not want to screw yourself over because you want to be negative nancy all the damn time at soul level absolutely nobody wants to live that way even if you have self-sabotaging tendencies at core we all know that we just want to live the life of our dreams and so make that shit a reality for yourself i'm gonna be so honest with y'all a few years ago i remember hearing about affirmation affirmations and i used to recite them however i was not on top of it i would see a little post that would be like i am abundant i am peace i am happy and i would just say that for the one time but then after that i would go back to thinking all these shitty things about my life and guess what manifested not the time i took two minutes to recite three sentences about positive living no what manifested was the constant negative thinking that i was having in my mind at all times 24 7. you tell yourself that you cannot find a man and you will not find a man. You tell yourself that you're happily married and you will become happily married. Something that I remember that I read was when JLo was talking about how she basically stays successful. This is what she told Oprah Winfrey when she was sharing how she affirms positive things into her life. Your thoughts create your life and so you have to think positive thoughts all the time. You have to force yourself to think positive at times. So I do a lot of positive affirmations. I do. I am whole. I am good on my own. I love myself. I love you Jennifer. I love the universe. The universe loves me. God loves me. I am youthful and timeless at every age. I am enough. Bitch, tell me why. Her affirming the fact that she looks young, that she's living life, that she looks youthful at every age is something that actually is being reflected in her life tell me why her saying these things actually happen is it not a known fact that everybody and their mom is like damn jayla looks so good for her age yes because she affirms it for herself she made that a reality for herself she's making sure that she's staying positive so that these things come to life y'all think that if she was sitting around saying i am so fucking ugly i look old as shit I'm 50, what the fuck am I gonna do now? How do y'all think that those negative affirmations would reflect in her life had she chosen to go with the negative affirmations? Everybody would be pointing out her flaws. This is exactly how it works. Even if it's things that you do not have right now, you need to trick yourself into believing that you have these things. Go look in a mirror right now and tell yourself how pretty you are. Go ahead and do that shit, no matter how ugly you feel, no matter how many flaws you think you have. I want you to just look in the mirror and say, you're so pretty. I love the way you look. I love my eyes. I love my smile. I love the way my face is. Say that for the one time and you are going to feel 
the positive change literally in your body you're going to feel that shit because you're telling yourself the truth you're telling yourself things that your soul already knows and so even if you feel fugly all the time if you tell yourself that you're the baddest bitch you will begin to believe that you're the baddest bitch and so will everyone else around you energies vibrate people feel that energy if you're vibrating at a high level people are going to feel that they're going to want to be around you they're going to be complimenting you they're going to be telling you how good your energy feels but yeah if you're over here saying man i never get anything i want in life i'm so fucking ugly i'm broke as shit Oh my god, please don't. That shit will literally reflect in your life. You're going to see how more unattractive you feel, how you suddenly lose in money, how everything suddenly goes wrong for you in your life. This is basically to me what I would consider the placebo effect. As said from Professor Ted Katchuk of Harvard-affiliated Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, the placebo effect is more than positive thinking. Believing a treatment or procedure will work, it's about creating a stronger connection between the brain and the body and how they work together. Now let's read the Google definition for the placebo effect. A beneficial effect produced by a placebo drug or treatment which cannot be attributed to the properties of the placebo itself and must therefore be due to the patient's belief in that treatment. Something that Sammy Ingram has said before is about the importance of the placebo effect. If somebody is ill and they need treatment, if the doctor gave them a pill and said, take this pill and you're going to feel better, you're going to see how your body reacts to it and you're going to feel 110% again. But that shit is made out of sugar. It's not a real medical pill. But yet the doctor gives it to the patient, the patient takes the pill, and guess what? In about a week, the patient calls a doctor and says, Doctor, thank you so much for those pills that you gave me. Ever since I began taking them, my health has increased by so much. Thank you so much again. That doctor over there billing, that doctor over there chilling, because he knows that the brain is literally what controls the body. The brain is what controls your life. You are the one in control, nobody else. Something that people love to take and run with is the external locus of control. The belief that you are not in control of your own life. That things just happen to you. Life just happens to you. Stop right there. You are the creator of your reality. You are the one that is creating things in your life. You are the one who's creating your happiness or your sadness, your successes or your downfalls. You are the one who's creating those things. So the first thing that I'm gonna have you stop doing is fucking blaming other people for the reason that your life sucks. I want you to stop talking about, it's his fault my life sucks. She screwed me over so now my life sucks. Bitch, no, it's not because of them, it's because of you. We push past these things. Keep it going with the positive affirmations. If you want happiness, you need to fight for these things. One of the biggest mistakes that I believe that a person can make is giving their control to other people. Take responsibility and fix it. There's nothing else you can do anymore. If you lost that bet, if you failed that test, it's an L you have to take. That's it. Now move on and do better. Start fucking affirming the life that you want. Affirm that you get an A on that test next time. Affirm that you win that bet next time. You have got to take this life as if you are the baddest, 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 baddest bitch that has ever been born onto this earth. I'm not saying to get all narcissistic on everybody, but I'm telling you that it's okay to be completely confident within yourself. You see, with negative affirmations, you're only putting yourself down into a pit even further. You're pushing yourself into the grave. Your main goal and focus in this lifetime is to make sure that you get the life that you want, that you deserve. Even if at first it just seems too difficult, you're like, damn, I can't do it, this shit is hard as fuck, I can't stay positive all the time. Okay, well then, I guess that's you. Good luck to you. If you can't stay positive all the time, I don't know what to tell you. This is a choice. Nobody's going to force you to be positive. You're the one who's just gonna have to take the initiative, do the extra work to ensure that your life becomes the life that you want it to become. If you can envision a certain lifestyle that you want, then it is 110% possible. Do not let anybody make you feel like it's impossible to get what you want. Do not let anybody tell you that it's hard, that you can't do it, that there's just not enough in this world. Those are their limiting beliefs. Do not fall into that trap. Even if your parents tell you that you can't do something, well, fuck that. You can do it if you believe that you can. If they believe that they couldn't do it when they were younger, then that's their problem. They decided not to prosper. They didn't make the most out of what they could have used. This is exactly why so many people have stated that their biggest regret was not doing what they wanted to do when they could have. 
they end up doing what's easier because they're afraid that they won't make it to where they want to be. But you are not your parents. You are going to make it so much farther than you could ever imagine. Believe me when I say that everything does happen for a reason. And the reason that you've come across this video is because your life needs a good fat ass change. And you're going to be the one who's going to change that part of your life. You're the one who's going to make everything and anything possible in your life. I never want to hear about another limiting belief again. I never want to hear that this shit is hard, that I can't do this, it's too much work. Because if you're saying these things, you're literally just telling me and everyone else and yourself that you're settling for what you have because it's too fucking hard. You're going to do that shit and that is on period. Okay y'all. Uh, that's basically it for my video. I just want the fuck in because I'm so passionate about this topic. Affirmations are the key to life. It is what creates your reality. You want a good reality? Affirm the fuck out of that. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If y'all have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I know many people got questions for this one because... Affirmations are simple to do, but it can be pretty hard to like keep up with them at first But just get right through that hard phase because once you hit that jackpot You're going to see how affirmations actually work and bring everything into your life. All right, everybody I'll see y'all this Sunday for another video. Take care. God bless y'all. Bye Bitch, we need to affirm up in here. Affirm.